Hey guys, hope you guys are doing okay. We're gonna take a look and see what is on your mind, what you guys focus on. Let's pull the energy. Again. All right, let's see what's going on here. Collective, love and relationships. I feel good about myself just as I am. You guys are having a relationship with yourselves, accepting yourselves for who you are, and you're happy. I get this. It's upright. You guys are happy with who you are, right? You're having a relationship with yourselves. For some of you guys, you have to get to know yourselves all over again, right? Because every single time you go through something, it's a new you. Like, there are certain cores that remain in place, right? I think in terms of expansion as you grow... Obviously, your experiences grow and things change. So, you kind of have to get to know yourself all over again. All right. Money and prosperity. I attract more money than I need. For some of you guys, you might be manifesting finances, money. I want stability. I want to be okay. I want to be able to be a productive person to society. I want to be able to take care of myself. I want to ask for as little as possible. Oof. And spiritual development could be an area of opportunity for you. It did come up reverse. I am looked after by my spirit guides and loved ones who have passed over. For some of you guys, you may not believe that. All right. You might have some spiritual development needs that need to be attended to. You guys need to understand that you do have a higher power watching you, right? And it may not feel like it is what I'm feeling based off the needs here. Where you are leaning on yourselves here. You are hoping to attract more money than you need. Some of you guys may not be doing great in the financial area. And you might feel like you feel left behind. And I totally get that. I mean, I don't want to give you the old hang in there, right? But you keep manifesting, you're going to get what you want. But everything has to be in line, right? So one's behavior. The way we react to things, right? What is our main goal? See, the, the main goal is not necessarily the house. You have to get the spirituality first and all those things come. And I think that's what the point of it is. I follow my passions, which lead to prosperity. There you go, what you're passionate about. But the bottom line is the bottom line. Give me more. Area of opportunity. I am attracting my ideal job right now. Some of you guys are unhappy where you're working. There might be some issues there. We know that the world is in a very strange place, honey, and folks to do anything. So you might have some problems at your job. You might have some coworkers that you clash with. Maybe there are some protocols that you don't agree with. Maybe somebody picked you out and tried to, uh, you know, write you up for whatever when you really didn't do anything, right? They just needed somebody to write up and they knew you'd be the person who wouldn't complain. But you were the person that barked. And I feel like you guys are like, I'm all set. So I feel like people are looking for different positions where they're happy. All right? So I feel like money is a challenge here, right? Because it's a concern. I attract more money. I feel like you don't want to worry. Your dream home. I am letting go of all I do not need so I can easily move into my dream home in perfect timing. You guys are focused on your dream home. You're focused on manifesting it. I feel like you want your dream home, but you also want to be comfortable. Meaning, if I want a bag of popcorn, right, to go with my soda pop, I don't want to have to count my pennies and make sure I can still pay mortgage, right? I want to have the luxury of buying that bag of popcorn or whatever you do, right? And I feel like you guys are manifesting that, but I feel like this is about a home. I feel like some of you guys feel unlucky right now. Like, you know, I don't get it. Everything passed me by. I put in all this work and put nothing. So I feel like that. But you guys want to keep manifesting because I'm right with you with this, actually. All right. So you're not alone. I'm here, too. In the same boat. Ciao. All right. Let's see what's going on. Give me what's going on with this. I feel good about myself. I attract more money. Is there an issue with money? Tell me what I need to know to clarify if there's any. It might just confirm, right? Cards are so big. This is why I don't use them. All right, let's go. What we got? Okay. I feel like you guys may have been in some sort of a relationship with somebody who wasn't good for you, right? Maybe you were dealing with somebody who was very stubborn. 
Maybe somebody was set in their own ways in this relationship that you were in. Or uh, it looks like you could have been dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Whoever this person is, I feel like this person may have been, I don't know, unreliable, stubborn. This person could have been fighting. There could have been a lot of conflict. Or maybe they found you to be a challenge. Maybe they challenged you or put obstacles in your way when it came to certain things, right? This could have been a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. They were putting obstacles in your way. So you have the Knight of Pentacles who was being nasty and stubborn, right? And then that energy came with obstacles. This person tried to put obstacles in your way. A Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini could have done this, right? So for you guys, because of this behavior of these people or whatever this is... You felt like you weren't being looked over. I'm not protected. I feel like I don't have any. I feel like somebody may have done something foolishly. Or maybe you think you made a bad decision in some area. Right? For some of you guys, you could be feeling bad about something. Maybe you feel like you shouldn't have dealt with somebody or did something. The full reverse. Some of you guys have lost hope in a situation. You could be dealing with an Aries energy. And maybe you feel like... I shouldn't take this risk or I'm skeptical about taking a risk. There's no hope in this situation. For some of you guys, there was an Aries that may have taken off on you. It says something about an absence here, right? The full reverse is also somebody leaving. It's a departure, absence. All right? I follow my passions, which lead to prosperity. This could actually be your energy, too. Maybe you guys are not following your passions. Maybe this fool is you not taking that risk. Possibility. I don't feel looked after. I feel like I have obstacles and rivals that are coming after me. Some of you guys are feuding with a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. You could be an Aries who is walking away from a situation or you feel like there's no hope in this situation, right? Some of you guys are not following your passion because you feel like there's no hope in it. Could be an Aries. I attract... What is this? Hold on. I can't see what that is. I am attracting my ideal job right now. Okay, let me just look at the job. You could be an Aries attracting a job right now. You could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini attracting the right position. I feel like you guys want, your goal is I want to feel good about myself just as I am, but I also want to attract more money, more money than I need. I want to be comfortable. It does not mention being greedy. All right, it does mention some mistakes could have been made along the way here from what I see. Somebody could have got sick somewhere. Oh, what's that? Oh. Okay. We also have the... Why do these same people keep coming up? We got the Knight of Swords that comes up again. I don't understand why these people keep coming up in these reads here. You got the Knight of Pentacles. Who's having some sort of rivalry or obstacles with an Aries or... Somebody could have directed an Aries to do something that was foolish, that maybe they knew wouldn't work and there was no hope in this situation. I follow my passions, which lead to prosperity. Somebody could have made somebody an offer. Whoever this is, this Knight of Swords is a violent person. This is somebody who comes across as very violent. Hold on. You got one that's stubborn and fighting with an Aries. I don't know if this Knight of Swords causes Aries some kind of... Uh, let me see what the next card is. If somebody's an obstacle. Somebody's starting trouble. Somebody's a rival. This Knight of Pentacles reverse might have some issues with this Aries energy. Or they might feel like there's no hope in a situation with a Knight of Swords reverse, somebody who's violent. You could have a Knight of Pentacles here. You could be the Knight of Pentacles in reverse here. Who might have an obstacle or a challenger or somebody who's rivaling you, right? Could be an Aries energy. Or you feel like somebody led you to do something foolish. Somebody's a violent person. So give me why is this here? Give me one more, please. Somebody's a violent person. There's no hope in a situation with a person who's violent. This could be a Virgo. 
somebody's somebody is reaching out to contacts from their past okay I attract the right job knight of swords gets in the way this is somebody who's violent you have I am letting go of all I don't need you guys are leaving somebody that's violent that's what it looks like somebody might have been violent nasty chaotic this could all be one energy they did something stupid they know there's no hope in the situation but the magician card somebody's using contacts from the past who is that you could be a Virgo somebody's using contacts to get something done right so it's not dark it just says that somebody's trying to make something like a dream or a creative something come true focus creativity I'm focusing on what I'm doing I'm using all the elements to make something happen with the magician card now what is this about please clarify what is the knight of pentacles reversed and the queen of swords somebody's calling judgment on a situation or somebody's looking observing about a situation somebody's gonna can't uh, it's gonna be complete honesty and clarity somebody's gonna look at a situation and call it for what it is this could be a judge <clears throat> somebody could have called the judge you could have a virgo that called up a judge who's a libra aquarius or a gemini who's gonna give them a fair assessment of what's going on why is this going into this kind of story? I feel like you guys walked away from this person. Queen of Swords. We also have the Emperor. This might have to do with the law. Somebody could be going to court. Somebody's calling judgment on somebody here. Somebody's making some sort of a judgment called Emperor. Somebody here is going to end up going to court. They're going to deal with somebody in leadership over a secret that comes out having to do with a Pisces. Somebody could have, there could have been an Aries and a Pisces, something about that. I don't know. Hold on. Let me see something. Yep. And somebody's trying to get over some sort of conflict with the Five of Swords. I'm sorry, the Five of Wands. So, again, the Five of Wands, this is about some kind of challenge again. Somebody's going to stop fighting, all right? Because I feel like somebody may have gotten caught or somebody got questioned about something, all right? So... There's a Knight of Pentacles reversed here. This person is stubborn. This person is nasty. This person is causing some kind of chaos because of the way they act. A Knight of Pentacles is going to be somebody who is not necessarily working. They're not productive, right? So they're kind of lazy. They're not working. So it's kind of a loser. You know, I don't know. If there's plenty of jobs and you ain't got one, I guess, I don't know. This person's a loser, all right? This person is rivaling somebody who is, or coming up against somebody who could be an Aries, right? Or they could have tried to direct an Aries to do something that was foolish, something that they knew wasn't going to work, something that didn't have any hope, right? Asked them to do something careless, and they had to depart, or it was going to cause some sort of departure or separation from something, and it was a foolish decision that this knight, this knight of Pentacles knew about, right? But I'm going to direct you to do it anyway. There's something with the Knight of Swords that comes up here. So somebody's very violent. Somebody could have directed an Aries to do something violent to a Libra Aquarius Gemini. Or somebody could have directed a Libra Aquarius or a Gemini to do something to an Aries. There could be a Knight of Swords, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini coming in between an Aries and coming in between a Virgo, right? Somebody's calling judgment on this. It's an emperor. These two people could be in court over some sort of a secret. Could be The secret could have to do with the Pisces. It's reversed here. So it could be over something dark that happened, right? Somebody could have did something and now clarity. The truth is coming out. When the moon is reversed here, the truth is coming out. And it looks like there's going to be some sort of a message or something like that that comes out. There's a message that comes out, and it's going to come out from the courthouse. There's going to be some sort of message that is given, a judgment call made to somebody in leadership or in the, ju the, uh, the judge's house, the courthouse. News coming out about a Pisces, or there's some message coming out that's going to give everybody clarity and truth about something having to do with a Pisces and an Aries. And a Virgo. So there's three folks here. Aries, if we look at it, there could be two Aries involved in this. There's a Pisces involved. There's a Virgo involved. There's an Aries involved. One Aries could be the person who did the thing that was foolish, right? Hurt somebody physically or something like that or made some dumb mistake. This dumb mistake could have sent them on a road. 
they got into some folly, right? And they kind of got, got a little bit sick or something like that, right? Possibility. That's not for everybody. In some cases, this, this could just be literally full reverse. There's no hope in something that you asked me to do. But it was violent. Somebody reached out to some contacts to get something done. Or this involved a Virgo. Trying to make something happen. They called up a judge, but this judge is fair. This judge is involved with the law. There's something where there's some kind of clarity that's going to come out, but it causes some kind of trouble, some kind of fight with the five of wands. This is about rivalry. This is challenges. Where was the other? Okay, yep. So we got the knight of wands, the knight of swords. This is five of swords, okay. Five of wands reverse. Yeah, if somebody wants to stop fighting now because the truth is coming out about something. They don't want to fight. If I look at these cards, somebody's trying to find a creative way to stop something from, for, to stop some sort of argument or something like that, right? So somebody might be getting a home. I'm letting go of all I don't need so I can move into my dream home. This could be a Virgo letting everything go. They're like, I'm letting it all go. I'm calling up the people I know. I'm going to call the judge and see if they can help me. Da -da -da. And I'm walking away from this nonsense. Somebody could simply be leaving home and walking away from this nonsense. I'm walking away from an Aries. I'm going to the judge. Somebody could be getting divorced. Hold on. Okay. Somebody could be a high priestess. Wait a minute. Let me get this up. Hold on, y'all. Somebody could be a high priestess here, too. Again, this is, could be a Pisces. This energy is coming out. Some of you guys could have some sort of knowledge of something, or you could be a high priestess, like... You know, you could be a person of the light, somebody who sheds light to other people. You heal other people. You help people, right? But it also talks about mysteries. Maybe you know some mysteries. Maybe you know something. I feel like you guys might know something. But somebody could be a high priestess and you have this knowing. What does that have to do? Somebody's going to stop. Somebody does not want to fight with a Pisces anymore. They're like, we're not going to fight. As a matter of fact, somebody might be bringing a Pisces to court. Yeah, because the judge is here and the emperor is here. There's a Pisces going to court. That might be a secret that's going to come out. Now, also, there's some sort of gossip going on because somebody's looking. Whoever this Pisces is, you are under some sort of surveillance, right? By it looks like everybody. The people are curious. People are curious. They want to know what's going on with your situation. They want to know what you know in terms of a secret. They want to know if you're still fighting with these other people. In some cases, you could have two Pisces here, but I feel like somebody knows something or something like that. Somebody's covering up something. Somebody is looking to see what is this secret that's coming out about this Pisces or something like that, right? What is this? Uh, six. All right. Somebody's looking to see whether or not there was something given to somebody. There was supposed to be something given. Equal give and take would be the Six of Pentacles. In this case, it's reverse. Somebody might want some sort of redemption or somebody's in some sort of debt. It looks like somebody's in debt because they failed to give somebody something. So it looks like now you went into debt, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Yep, this person is fighting. This person, this Virgo energy here is fighting because they're in debt now because they wanted somebody else to be in debt, right? So they want to stop the argument. You have a Virgo who wants to stop arguing because now they're in debt. It's literally that simple, right? So this Virgo may have also wanted some big dream home. One more. How does that come up? Somebody lost their fortune. The secret is somebody lost their fortune. There's an Aries and a Pisces here who failed to give something. But they didn't turn something over. There's a secret that an Aries is holding about a Pisces. Somebody didn't pay you. Or somebody was stingy in a relationship. Somebody's losing their fortune. Anything else here? Something's going before the judge. What's the high priestess in a page of swords? The death card. This could have been about a Scorpio. Uh, somebody's looking to see how some story about a death went or... Why something didn't end or they're checking to see is something really dead, something like that. This is a death card. That means that something would be over. Something is not over. Something continues, but you're stagnant, right? You can't move. 
somebody might feel stuck. Somebody feels stuck in a situation. Somebody is looking to see if somebody's stuck. Somebody's looking to see if there's a Scorpio stuck. Somebody's looking to see if there's a Scorpio who's gone from this earth. Clarify six of uh, sword, um, the Page of Swords and Six of Pentacles reverse, please. Page of Cups. Somebody could have had a new baby or something like that. This could have been about a new job or a new love. Somebody's checking to see if Scorpio has a new love. This could be a separate story. Somebody's checking to see if a Scorpio has a new love. Do you have anybody new? <laughs> Do you have anybody new? Somebody could be volunteering somewhere. Somebody could be having some issues with something that they just found out. Ace of Swords. Somebody could be stressed because they just got some news that they made the wrong decision about something. And now somebody could be under judgment or they're scared about somebody judging them. Ace of Swords reverse. I found out something that was a lie about a Scorpio. Somebody I wanted to maybe make some sort of offer to, right? When it comes to a new love or volunteer to show them something or something like that. Somebody's afraid they can't do it. It could be a cancer with the chariot card. Mm -hmm. Whatever's going on here, somebody fighting over some money. There could be a Virgo arguing over some money with a cancer. Mm -hmm. You guys could have had this person who was nasty to you. Could have been a Pisces here. This Pisces is in the legal system somehow. I don't know what they did. But... This person could be in a public eye. I'm going to leave it here because this is a little bit it's going crazy now. But Yeah, somebody could be in a public eye. You could be in Aquarius too. That's part of this story also. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Right? It's just it's way too congested now. Is there anything else I need to give you guys? No, I don't think so. I mean, no. I'll take this one for you. It's on the top. I am grateful for the support of divine masters and transcend and transcended teachers. I'm sure I said that wrong. Who helped me on my spiritual journey. Your focus here is spiritual development. You guys are on a journey. And you're going into a whole new place. And I feel like whoever these people are back here, they're fighting and carrying on and arguing in the courthouse. I mean, these people, I don't know, somebody wanted to offer you something. Somebody looks like somebody might be trying to still come towards you here. But there's some conflict with a Virgo or something like that. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye.